When a couple decides to call it quits, splitting up the assets can feel like your sanity is being divided along with the property and bank accounts. And when it comes to retirement accounts and pensions, it's no walk in the park, or should I say, no leisurely stroll through Portland's Japanese garden. Firstly, how your retirement accounts and pensions are handled depends heavily on state laws. Since I'm out here in Oregon, let's assume you're working with Oregon's laws. This state is an equitable distribution state rather than a community property state. In a nutshell, equitable distribution aims for a fair, not necessarily equal division of assets. Retirement accounts and pensions amassed during the marriage are generally considered marital property. If you've been contributing to a 401, K, or IRA, or you're sitting on a nice cushy pension, chances are your spouse is entitled to a piece of that pie, even if their name isn't on the account. Usually this is handled by a court order known as a Qualified Domestic Relations Order, or QDRO, pronounced like quadro. The QDRO tells the plan administrator that they need to cough up a portion of your retirement assets to your ex. It's basically a get-out-of-jail-free card for early withdrawal penalties, but it's limited to divorce, child support, or alimony situations. But not so fast. Breaking up a retirement account isn't like splitting a vinyl collection. You can't just decide who gets sticky fingers and who gets exile on Main Saint. Retirement accounts need to be accurately valued, which can get complex. There's an entire profession around this, forensic accountants. And it's not because they're digging up fossils. They're digging up financial facts. The division of these assets often requires negotiation and sometimes complex calculations, particularly with pensions where the value isn't as straightforward as a bank balance. You may decide to trade off other assets instead of touching that pension. Maybe you keep the retirement accounts in full and your ex keeps the house. What's clear is that retirement accounts and pensions are a critical part of divorce proceedings. And it reminds us that when people say, till death do us part, they're usually not thinking about the splitting of their IRA contributions. If you're going through this process, get a good lawyer, aim for fairness, and maybe, just maybe, that retirement account will still help you enjoy those unworried sunset years, sipping something nice maybe overlooking the Willamette River, dreaming of a future that's calm, collected, and financially settled.